Let's welcome in David Bonson. He's chief investment officer at the Bonson what Group. What people would benefit from the most, Kelly, is overall economic growth. And that's what would happen if we finally got sustained business investment. The reason we don't get it is excessive indebtedness and a Fed that has continued to coddle asset markets. Well, you know, there's so a really important emphasis on inflation right now because prices have gone way up, energy's way up, there's policy failures, there's other macroeconomic conditions. Everyone's talking about it. I don't want us to take our eye off the ball of growth. Mm. I think that people are looking at it like, oh, this inflation's coming from runaway growth. Well, it's not. No. We still have stagnant growth, excessive indebtedness, ultimately can be very deflationary. I'm worried about the whole package. We gotta get through inflation now, we got to get back on a growth agenda. Gas prices get high enough, the people revolt. The people become supply side before the White House. Oh, I like that. David Bonson did that in less than 90 seconds, folks. That's how good he is. Sure. The major problem is not them talking. It's that they're so important in the economy to begin with. The celebrity of Greenspan was the first problem. The maestro. The maestro. Why do we want our Federal Reserve chairman to be a celebrity, a household name? The role of the Fed in the economy and in financial markets is to so what it's done Bring is nobody's talking about what I care about, which is the business investment number. That has long-term implications. We are not helping the supply side of the economy with incentives into business investment. Yeah, this is a great point because we have a major supply chain problem. Well, I don't think gas prices are affecting markets other than that they really help the energy sector because mm -hmm. there's very big margins. You know, the daily demand right now for oil is basically around the same as it was in 2019. It isn't like demand has skyrocketed higher. It's just simply that supply is lower. And we just have to hope that there's price relief. But it's not going to come from decreased demand. It's going to come from increased supply. Obvious question, are we close to the bottom? Uh, nobody knows, including the people that were just quoted. Uh, but this whole thing of calling a price is great for headlines. It's great to kind of scare just people up. And there's nothing more bold than after a thousand point drop than deciding, hey, it looks like markets are weakening. You know, um, look, it gets you the headline, doesn't it? The prudent thing to do is not guess an exact time. It's to encourage investors to have a plan for how you're going to deal with all kinds of weather. Yep. People need an asset allocation, a way that they divide up their assets that account for all possibilities. Oh, yeah. I'm worried about long-term stagnant growth. I'm worried about Japanification and a debt deflation cycle after this inflationary episode. That's all I've ever been worried about. I think if Fed funds rate was 4% tomorrow, we still have $120 oil because of the supply side. I think if the Fed funds rate was higher, we still have these problems if there's not workers at the ports in Long Beach. So I'm focused on the production side and getting 3 to 4% real GDP growth back. So I'm just simply focused from an investor standpoint, market standpoint, at finding high quality, get as short duration as you can in your equities. Don't buy stuff depending on multiple expansion. I don't think you'll get multiple expansion for the rest of the decade. Well, let's talk about the year 2020, okay? Not 2022, when Exxon lost $22 billion. But the fact of the matter is, Exxon's gonna spend $25 billion this year on capital expenditures. And they're gonna do the same for the next five years. This entire line of attack from the White House is economically and ideologically irrational. Right, we're back with the market. Uh, Microsoft, uh, City likes Microsoft. Yeah, David on. sitting right next to you, who's shaking his head about this particular- I was barely got? shaking my head. It was a very <laughs> subtle shake. Uh, the valuation is stabilized uh, all of four days, and they just haven't <laughs> kept up with what they need to to grow their dividend. He might not be invited back on the show. <laughs> yes, he <laughs> <laughs> Don't say anything. He still owes me a Blackstone, so we're okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.